right, so here we go. This is the first re review of the Crocheted magazines that I got a couple of weeks ago. Now, I have got seven of these Simply Crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the images inside with some of the patterns that are there. Now, these, um, I've not been able to find an actual print date on this, but on the side, I have got the details of um, the print number. So hopefully you'll be able to go online, go on to Simply Crochet, which I'll give you the details to in a few moments, and you'll be able to look up the book number that you like and see if they have any in stock for you to purchase. There's a back order. Right, so this book is book number 86. Okay, it's um, side panel says a daisy top, sun and shade, home and shape, pom poms, shaped pom poms, sorry. There is the simplycrochetmag.com information. I will enlarge that on a, a pop up in a moment. Okay, so that is where you'll hopefully be able to track these down. Right, so these magazines are um, pretty well laid out within a page you've got a little bit of advertising on the first page but then you've got your contents list which i find really really helpful because it means i can just turn one page and see whether there's anything in there a brief that i would like to make okay so within this one you've got quite a cute daisy top here um and then a, um possibly the designs for these two little aragurumis but what we'll do is I will scout through off camera and arrange it so that I can show you larger images of all of the items or most of the items. Right, so here we go. Here is the first set of patterns. Now this is a The Real Sun Shady set collection and it's a homewares collection. Okay. There we go. It also includes this uh, Mandela pattern. Um, and a daisy top. Now they do also include a conversion chart and images to your patterns so that you can change them for the size that fits you. There's also a scarf pattern, a crazy cushion, I quite like the look of this one, this would be pretty nice on my eldest if she wore crochet. And yes it does contain the patterns for both of these stuffies and a little write up on the um, pattern creators. We also have a pet mat and no, Lima has been told he is not having one because he's liable to eat it or bury it in the garden. One of the two. <laughs> Included is also this um, bear hugs, which is how to make, uh, make and sculpt um, pom poms. And it also shows you how to do a heart shaped one as well. Right, so this magazine also has the sections, as most magazines do, on how to do the, the different stitches. This one has all the charts that you need for the patterns, and the patterns themselves are um, written out pretty nicely. Um, it's not too over text. It sounds a bit strange me saying it like that, but I like quite short, sharp explanations. Like I put in my tutorials, rather than having the stitch and then having three lines of how to do the stitch every time. So these, this one I've found is quite looking quite nice to work from, but I will come back to you on that one because I haven't made anything with it as yet. So up next, as if by magic, <laughs> we have a got edition number 
88. Okay, right, I'm not going to muck around with focus this time, but I will be doing more of a photographic rather than a talk through on this one, so I can show you just quickly what the patterns are. Otherwise, these videos will end up being 19 hours long especially with my editing skills. Right, I'll, I'll show you it now. Right, so here we go. This is pretty much what's in this one. I'm quite liking the look of this grey top up here. And of course the giant lion. Right, let's get in and let's have a look at the photos and us. And so then you can make your decision. Right, so this one is edition 89. Um, I am loving this sort of stuff. I've not done any of this sort of cabling work as yet. So this might be a challenge for me at some point. Once I get through everything else I want to do first. <laughs> right, let's get on and have a look inside. Right, so here are the main images for the main items. I think they're quite cute. I'm still loving this green. And to think I had enough yarn to probably make that with the same colour over three times when I made that mistake with the green. But, um, oh well I've used most of it up now. <laughs> right, so let's have a closer look at some of these images. And here we are for book number 19. Now this is a Christmas edition. And there's your designs for this one. Oh, that light. There we go. So now I'll squeeze through and do your little photo montage again of the pictures and the patterns in this one. Well, no, the pictures, not the patterns. And this little beauty is called the Christmas Carol. Now I am I'm going to attempt to hopefully make this for a friend of mine. But I hope she doesn't watch my channel yet. I keep asking her to. Right, so here is issue 91. This is the November issue. Right, so let's flick through to that what's in here page. And there we go. Right, so now I'll do the photo montage. I am in love this with this pattern and it looks quite um, intricate but it, it isn't, it is really really simple but I'm not telling you the stitches, I'm not spoiling it. Right, 
Right, so this is edition 94. This is February's um, this year. So it's February 2020 this one was released. So uh, let's turn the page. Let's have a quick look at what they're showing straight off. And there we go. That's quite sweet. I quite like those. Right, so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to do your photo montage. <laughs> I will see you in a few minutes for the next book. Oh wow, so okay, so with this pattern, we can get away with using that pair of jeans that we split when we bent over last Christmas. <laughs> so I can't resist, it happened to me. So I could actually reuse my old faithful jeans here, add some pockets, add some cute edging, and I'll have myself something to protect my clothes for, Chris um, for when I'm cooking this Christmas. Right, and the very last one of the Simply Crochets is issue number 95, which was published in March of 2020. Right, let's scoot over. No, oh, wrong page. <laughs> there we go. Right, so that is what's in the last edition of this one. So now I'll do the photo montage. Now, I don't know if any of you know, but in winter months, I am a roll neck fiend. I live in the things, morning, noon, night, even if it's sunny. The only time my roll neck normally comes off is if it's over 20 degrees. So this is definitely on my to-do list, although I'll probably be changing it around a little bit on this section. Because, of course, I want to cover the bits I don't like. Right, so I've only just realised this, but they're actually running a cap a cow within the magazine for all of the different panels for this um, jumper or blanket depending on what you're after there you go there's another picture of the blanket so that's a bit cheeky that's one way of guaranteeing that quite a few of us will end up buying it this one's quite cute but it's looking like it's got a bit of a bobble stitch theme going on here gang I ain't touching it with a barge pole if it's bobble I ate bubble. Right, so it's coming up to Easter in this edition. So there we go. There's our Easter baskets that some of us made last year. We might get to use them this year. So I hope you like this little video and photograph montage of each of these books um, pop me a comment down below if you like this method of me talking through the books because um, if so that means I can get on with the other videos <laughs> with all the rest of the uh, magazines that came out of that set and I may even do one that shows um, the knitting books as well now as I don't knit I can't tell you if the patterns are any good but I am sending one out to another um, another crafter and she does knit so she'll be picking one of them patterns and probably run, running with it as soon as she gets the books so then she'll be able to tell me if the books are any cop right so I'm gonna head off now now the one bit I did find a bit annoying with this when I first started looking is you've got this printed section here which is um, all the um, basic information sort of the website and everything else now this print is minute um, there we go if I just stick my thumb over that sort of gives you an idea of um, how small it is actually no let's do one better than that 
let's bring out my six millimeter basic crochet hook right so i'm gonna just try not to break the edging on on the magazine right so i'm gonna bring it up so and um get the print in focus let's have a bit of fun with this eh? right so there we go um there's the on next issue on sale okay and i'm just going to place my hook over the top of the print so as you can see that's the large the large print so although i wear glasses my eyesight's not actually that bad especially when i've got my glasses on and they're clean and i've bothered to clean them but this is just ridiculous the only way i was able to actually read this is by looking at my computer screen at this moment in time and reading it on the computer screen as I'm recording it. So um, this book, the net, they haven't stated in here or if they have, it's probably in this small print. And as you can see, I have got no chance of finding out when the print was, um, when this one was printed. But the next issue is the, is the 1st of August, 2019. So as we move through the books, I should be able to work out quite quickly um, whether they are a monthly, fortnightly or weekly publication. Right, now let's get on with having a nose at these patterns because I know that's what you really want to look at. 